looking at the transition in the film uh, movies. Well, I mean, other, other people, like in Europe? Or, um, uh, I don't know. I uh, actually so have looked at my best clothes so I But I would imagine it does, because I think that stain over there is the sulfur. I haven't looked at it in my mouth, but I've named everyone. Some of them, but not a good version. Some of them, but not a good version. Not now. Exactly. It was in the 1870s. The right when Stevenson was mapping it, when, this when, county, when the there were split, commercial the mines up and down again, the creek. The bottom was they got all the e wooden stuff out. And they were hard different. So not laterally. Uh, uh, not over very long distance. Got a really it's certainly it. laterally pers persistent around this area. Because there, there were mines not only on Muddy Creek, but some of the other creeks around here as well, and I guess almost all the way down to the yeah, Long River. Yeah, the whole outcrop, though. Here, uh, north of Morgantown on Duncan Creek. And farmers had to have something. It's a, it's a cold mic, experience. I've mapped this in Texas. Yeah, there are dog holes in it all over the place, old yeah. farm mines. Well, really prevalent. Stevenson uh, was describing the ones down here. It sounded to me like they were. Uh, Semi-commercial, well, you know, there like was that too. There was that digging too. them and selling them to the local farmers as opposed too. to the bushel farmers themselves. The bushel and the wagon list. In yeah. fact, at Cassville, you know, the type of locality, the Cassville so Trail, yeah. there were a lot of little commercial mines in there. And the story goes, and what we've been able to learn is that uh, White, I think, was actually you know paying or working with some of those miners to actually bring material out. Isn't that what you heard? Yeah. Because there's plants in the party too. <laughs> and, so while they're mining, you know, they're disposing that they would be bringing that material out. But I think that ended about the 1920s. And interestingly, no one has ever, in modern times, has figured out how to commercially mine the thing underground. Raw stripping.